Hello mga kabulero. To begin the second part of our IEEE publication and manuscript formatting guidelines, these are the steps and best practices on how to submit a journal paper to IEEE. Again, this is for journal paper submission. So to publish a research paper in an IEEE journal, you need to pick the correct journal the first time adhering to the following guidelines. The first step is to get customized recommendation for your article from the IEEE publication recommender tool. So IEEE publishes more than 150 journals, transactions, and letters on a wide range of technologies. So use the IEEE publication recommender to find the best journal for your work. You can input keywords or upload your article to receive customized suggestions. So click on a publication title in the search results to access important data about the publication, including the aims and scope, bibliometric scores, such as the impact factor, and open access availability, the average time from the submission to the online publication and more. This are or this is a lot of information, but you can definitely check on this by going to IEEE Publication Recommender. So the uh, hyperlink or the link to access the information will be in um, journals or HTTPS, colon journals IEEE author center that IEEE.org and you can check on the IEEE journal article authoring tools and templates and there you can find it. So IEEE article templates let you quickly format your article and prepare a draft for peer review and templates help with the placement or specific elements such as the author list. They also provide guidance on stylistic um, elements such as abbreviations and acronyms. So use the iterative um, or interactive IEEE template selector to find the template you need by following, of course, easy prompts and you, you may also download the template for your reference. So communicate your ideas and discoveries to the world through a well-written article and IEEE offers guidance to help you structure your article. Display your equations correctly and follow the IEEE editorial style manual and you will learn all of this about the elements that you organize or to organize a typical IEEE journal article and how to compose your work to help communicate your ideas more clearly. And using the, um, the article uh, guide or template, and you, you, may, you may secure or you may have a high percentage of being accepted to this particular journal submission. So, the next step is before you submit your paper for peer review, make sure to perform these tips. Number one, get feedback from your peers and colleagues. Of course, in the academy, this is very relevant or being practiced uh, before we submit papers to the conference proceedings or a journal uh, because we have a, a panel, panel presentation, right? And there are several... Um, constructive criticisms that were provided to us while we after we presented our paper. And then uh, by that specific um, instructions or feedback, we can definitely improve the output of our paper. Number two, leave your paper for a week and then read a printed copy and revise. Because most of the time, um, we thought that our paper is 100% good enough to be submitted for a peer review, but that is not always the case. So try leaving your paper for a week or for a couple of days and then see and check what needs to be to be updated or what needs to be added or removed on your paper and then do the revisions. Number three, 
avoid plagiarism and run your paper in Turnitin or similar plagiarism software to avoid troubles. So uh, this is to make sure that we do not copy and paste rampantly on uh, several documents or texts from Google or any other uh, sites which we refer our uh, our document or our paper. We make sure or we must make sure that we um, rephrase or paraphrase all of them and make sure that we are not copying and pasting word for word. And lastly, number four, proofread the paper before you upload. So uh, have someone do the proofreading if you are if you already proofread your paper multiple times. So the next step is to compose the letter to the editor and do not forget to indicate your name and role as author, your affi affiliation and contact information. And most of the time for uh, multiple authors, you have to indicate what is your role uh, in creating the paper. So writing a letter to edit to the editor, and this letter is usually written to persuade the editors to accept your publication and make sure, again, to indicate the information as uh, provided on the slide. Now, to avoid publication delays by understanding, uh, we have to understand the process when we submit our, our article for peer review. And IEEE guides us through the submission and peer review process with helpful tips and information. All IEEE journals provide submission guidelines in an information for author section and published in the journal or an or in a society website. So not following the guidelines, of course, can result in delayed processing of your submission and usually um, revising uh, formats, revising your uh, alignments. There you are. So um, rejections without review or errors in your published articles, those are a bit frustrating. And if the editors saw several uh, nuances on your paper, that would lead to rejection and we don't want that. So read about the maximum word limited by the manuscripts. These are some tips for, for your review. Um, investigate the average acceptance rate for the selected journal. And there are journals with short review period of three to six months. And there are journals with long review period from one to two years. So be aware so that you will expect the, the right timeline uh, for, for the reception or to, to receive the, the feedback or the result of the, the, um, the review or the peer review. Now, while preparing to submit your article for peer review, make sure to, number one, select your target publication with the help of the IEEE publication recommender. Again, you have to use the IEEE publication recommender to check on or to, to, to know which publication fits your paper topic. Number two, review the submission guidelines for your target publication so that you will ensure your article meets all the requirements. All right, review the submission guidelines. Number three, Agree on who will serve as the article's corresponding author if your article has multiple authors. Again, don't forget to indicate your role once you submit or send a letter to the editor. Number four, check that you all have the, uh, the files needed. Number five, get an open researcher and contributor ID or ORCID. And if you do not have uh, this ORCID, make sure to get one. And this is very vital if you are submitting a journal or a, pa a research paper to a journal. So in the case that your article got rejected, and this is not what we wanted, but I, I, I wanted to give uh, some best practices. So number one is make sure to still send an editor letter and thank you and thank the reviewers for their work. This is just a courtesy uh, of even though you got rejected, you still acknowledge their efforts in um, 
checking on your paper and learn from your previous mistakes and keep in mind that all the constructive feedback provided by the reviewers are vital and you can use that in your future works. So some other tips, be patient. You can follow the status of your paper from the journal management system. Reviewers can be harsh, but they should provide constructive feedback and reply to the reviewers' comments. So provide a new editor letter containing or explaining the revisions made according to the comments. Provide a reviewed document with tracked changes and provide a clean final document. If this is uh, not the part wherein you got rejected. This is just, for example, you have, uh, they, the editors have minor revisions or recommendations for revision. Now, before your accepted article is published to IEEE, for example, uh, you, your paper got accepted to be published on a journal. So you will be asked to complete a publishing agreement. And IEEE offers two different agreement options to fit your needs. Number one is, or the first one is, the IEEE copyright form transfers the author's copyright to IEEE. And signing the IEEE copyright form transfers the ownership of the article to IEEE. And the electronic IEEE copyright form, or ECF, makes signing a publishing agreement easy. And the form will determine which agreement meets your needs and enable you to complete it on screen. All right. Now, what's the other one? The other one is the Creative Commons licenses, which includes the Creative Commons Attribution License, or CCBY, and the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives License, or CCBY-NC-ND, allows authors to retain copyright. And the article is available via universal free online uh, service or online access and can be reused with attribution. So CCBY and CCBY-NC-ND allows authors to retain copyrights of their article and permit a very broad range of reuse. And under CCBY, reuse for commercial purposes or to create derivative works is permitted. Whereas under CCBY-NC-ND, reuse cannot be for commercial purposes or change the work in any way. And under CCBY licenses, authors are responsible for protecting their content from possible abuses such as infringement, and plagiarism. So most of the time, if you are in a in in a journal, you have to select which of these two is uh, applicable, or you want to be to be applied on your paper or journal. Now, if you submit a paper and you got accepted, congratulations! You become automatically a member of a journal review database. After your article has been accepted for publication, here are some tips to keep your article moving. Make sure you do not miss any important steps from following the checklist for article production. Number one is inform your co-authors if they are not included in the decision letter. Number two, read the decision letter carefully for any additional tasks such as uploading the final quality files or signing a copyright form and production on your article will not begin until these tasks are completed number three your article will be prepared for publication and there is nothing you need to do at this stage you may log in to ieee author gateway to track the progress of your article and contact your dedicated IEEE journal production manager or pay any fees associated with your article publication. Number four, you will be contacted when an article proof PDF is ready for review. And this is the last time you will be able to make changes to your article before publication. So review the proof carefully and submit any edits as required. And lastly, 
typically your article will be finalized within two to three weeks from the start of the production process. And actual production time can vary depending on the individual journal's publication constraints and processes. So this would be the last stage or step when your article is published, it will appear in the IEEE Explore Digital Library, as we, what I've shown in as an example in the previous video, with some of the most world uh, highly cited articles in electrical engineering, computer science, and electronics. And IEEE has to put together resources for after your article is published. So you can track and improve the vis visibility of your published article. Number one, create a citation alert in IEEE Explore. Number two, view your article's metrics in IEEE Explore. Number three, promote your article to colleagues. And number four, purchase print copies for, of your article. So these are the tips and tricks if you want to submit uh, a paper publication in, a, in an IEEE journal. So the next video that I'll be presenting would be um, an introduction and also the, the tips and, and tricks for submitting uh, a paper to a conference proceeding. All right, so this, is, this ends uh, my presentation. So see you on my next video. Thank you so much, goodbye.